Yo, 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 So for those that don't know, Malian fishing ships now give 10% of the food as gold. Delhi Dock now produces a scholar and acts as a mosque. So both civs got buffs. And that's why you're seeing both civs on water. Dude, that's cool as fuck. Okay, we're making the video now, guys. This is me testing Malian and Delhi on water. And again, I just want to tell everyone in Twitch chat, everyone on YouTube, this is probably going to be on YouTube. I appreciate you all. Maybe I don't say it enough, but without you guys, I literally wouldn't be able to do what I do. And I can't thank you enough. Playing them video games for a living. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. Okay, let's see how fishing ship works. So some people said that they try to convince me that the way it works is it drops 36 food and 4 gold. I don't think it drops 36 and 4 gold. I think it drops 40 food and 4 gold. I know it's worded a bit weird, but I think it's like that. I'm, I mean, we're about to see. You appreciate me too? Okay, that's good. That's good. Because I was getting worried a little bit. 36, 37? There it is, Twitch chat. Even though I appreciate you, you guys were wrong once again. Right, it's okay. And we, di we do see 114 gold. Now, I have no idea how much gold I will need to mine with this. Like, I have no freaking idea. Like, do I... I think I might need to mine gold, actually. Unironically. I might need to mine it, but I think it's a little bit. I don't think you can age up just from gold dropping off on fishing boats, right? I don't even know if you're gonna need the pit, by the way. You might even skip the, the pit, but I'm gonna go for it and see where it lands. Let's go like this. We'll go with something in between. Here we go, here we go. Watch this. Watch this. And this is the only change for gold 40 food. This is the only change that... Um, has happened to um, Malian, right? And it might be very, very viable in water. Again, I'm not sure. We don't know 100%, but this is very uh, a big eco boost, I think. I hope, because I would love to see more sims being viable in water, right? So I got probably like 30 gold from fishing ships, right? I wonder what happens if I drop off 20, what happens? Do I get two gold? Okay, I get two. So every 10 food you get gold. That's how it works. We'll go men's quarry here. Okay, so this should be a lot of gold. Then this should be a lot more gold. And this should be a lot more gold. Now, why... Is Malian also decent in water? 
Their dogs have a buff that ships near dogs get 15% movement speed for 25 seconds. Which means that you, if you do this properly, you can actually get um, basically movement speed boost 24-7 on your ships. Like in fights, which is really, really, really strong. 15% uh, movement speed is really, really strong. So, um, yeah. Okay, we'll do one from this side, and then we'll do one from um, the other side. I mean, he aged up at a good time. We can also go stone with Manzik Quarry, and if it was... I mean, here you don't really get value from Aeroslits, but if it was a different map, I could have gone for Manzik Quarry stone and then slowly Aeroslit my uh, docks, right? Which could also be quite good. I got nine fishing ships. He actually aged up pretty quick. I, I aged up pretty much as fast as I could. And I got only nine fishing ships. Oh yeah, arrow ships were changed. So now they don't shoot from the middle. They shoot from the... Yeah, you see that? They shoot from the, the tip of the boat now. Which means that uh, it, it's gonna be... There, it's like a slight buff, you know, the arrows will arrive faster. Two hundred and thirteen gold per minute. Which means I'm getting about 40-50 gold per minute from fishing ships. Forty fifty, not not fourteen. I don't know what I'm Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is, um, I mean, I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but now um, you can rally fishing ships onto the, the fish and then rally units somewhere else, which is really, really good. That's a really, really, really good change. So I want to use this dock right here as a staging ground basically to attack. To get the movement speed. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to refish again. 
I think this was better for me though. So one thing that Delhi has over me is um, he has free upgrades, right? But I'm going to have a lot more passive income. I'm getting uh, Archer Ship file, Fire additional two Javelin weapons. I'm going to need to make some fishing ships for sure here. Uh, I have no food whatsoever. There's the movement speed increased buff. I'm gonna get that. I have a lot of gold actually. I should start rallying on to food, I think. He's trying to get sacred side. I can also start cow booming even. Potentially. Which is kind of wild. I mean, you probably don't want to do it. If it's a full water map, you probably just want to slam fishing ships. Dude, I love that I can make fishing ships and make uh, army at the same time and change rally points. Like, it's so big. Let's go get that movement speed. What's the movement speed range? Is it this? Look at the demos now flying in. Look how fast they are. They're fast as fuck, boy! Well, wow. okay, I would need to, uh, so obviously Gali's testing, I'm testing, we haven't played this, but I actually really want to try this in the next few days against a top player, but not against Delhi. I want to try it against like Jushi or China. Yeah, demo move speed is actually really big and the buff lasts 25 seconds. And if you're playing defensive, the opponent demos should never hit you because your sprinkle ships get 15% movement speed, perma right while you're near docks i'm actually quite curious to see how that's going to work out against other sibs okay let's try delhi now shout out to gully for uh playing of course with me another game because i can make this another youtuber baby i'm a content machine every time a patch comes out i just turn into a content machine <laughs> Okay, so let's see. What's the good build for this then? Uh, do I go... Do I go for mill early or no? I'll have to see. I'm going to start with fishing ships and see how the economy lines up. Because, uh, so one thing that's changed with Delhi. So Mali and I just showed you guys, right? With Delhi, um, your, your dock is now uh, also... Oh, shit. Oh, I got goofed. I got Scholar and I'm going to get Supply Capped. I'm not supposed to be Supply Capped, but because I got Scholar, it Supply, uh, supply Capped me. Uh, so that's something I need to be careful of. Um, but now you get Scholar when you make a dock it counts as a mosque so you hit, see it has influence um radius and fishing ships by the way which i forgot to mention 
fishing ships now take um, 30 seconds to make. But Delhi, because you have Scholar inside, you're boosting the production. It's 25 seconds. So with Delhi, it's kind of like a boom right now. Boom save on water. Because you produce fishing ships a lot faster. It should be... Uh, it should actually be 24 seconds. I don't know why it's 25 seconds. But... Yeah, either way. He's making houses next to here. So he's not making them on uh, gold. We'll see how he ends up doing. Uh, you can't age up just with fishing ships. Just so you know. I'm just telling him this now. Uh, so that he knows, right? I don't want to, like, get a win because he didn't know that. Three fishing ships already. So, the best sieves in water, Jushi and China, they both have uh, production speed on water, right? They both have... Um, uh, what's it called? 10%. And Delhi has... What is it? How much does it give, actually? 20... I can't do math and play at the same time. It's too hard for my brain. 16.6% Twitch chat says. And you know, you guys know I believe Twitch chat everything is. So. Yeah, I don't think you can go for a mill opener anymore. Um, I don't, I, I think you just don't have... Dude, fishing ships are so fast that look at how much food I have. Uh, you can go because you need to build a house earlier. Um, and your ships produce faster, so you actually use more wood. But let's see what happens. I'm gonna make a mill right here. The reason I'm making mill right there is because that's where the influence is, so it makes sense to do so. Now, the advantage of Delhi is not only faster production, it's that um, you don't need to make mosque anymore in order to produce stuff on water, which is very strong and very nice. Um, you produce stuff faster, all your upgrades are free, right? Which is really, really good. So now I can already get Wheelbarrow. We're gonna go Dome of Faith right here. We're gonna go like that. Dome of Faith so I can produce some more Scholars. Because I can put those scholars in docks to boost production even further. So instead of me making billion docks, I can just make scholar, which is going to give me uh, dock production speed and is going to uh, uh, make my upgrades faster as well. I got forestry already, which is nice. Thing here. Uh. My fishes are kind of annoying a little bit, the way they spawn. They're like... I hate... When this happens, it's actually really annoying. Yeah, yeah, all the ships are faster, I know. I hate when this happens because I want to make a dock here, but I can't. Sprinkled ships in 25 seconds. Oh, 
Deli fishing ships can also shoot by the way. They have bonus 50% health and they no longer miss since the latest patch. So I think I can just stay on two docks now, right? So they go from 30 seconds to 21. The uh, Forester is about to finish, Wheelbear is about to finish. So my eco is looking pretty, pretty nice. Okay, wheelbarrow is done. There's so much food actually. Oh shit, I shouldn't be playing around with the docks. Oh my god, they're so fast. Oh my god, they're so fast. Should I make another dock? Like, I don't want to fight around his docks, though. This is Okay, let's get the upgrades now. Ooh, another thing I can get is uh, I can get a blacksmith because all the upgrades there are going to be free too. Like, I have 30 on wood and I'm producing so fast that I, I'm producing like one ship at a time. It's kind of weird to see. So we're gonna get plus one ranged attack for free, which is gonna help not, it's gonna help our uh, does. I don't want to fight on the middle, but not go into his base kind of thing. I have seven scholars in docks. The fuck? What the fuck? I feel like I just have so many more shit. Oh, I'm almost 
Yeah, I feel like I just have more, like, eco. But I know he has a lot of passive eco too now, right, at this point. Ansid is running out of battery. Give me a moment. Oh, remind me to show you something after this game. Wow, that was the fastest. That was the fastest swap I've ever done right there. Can go get sacred sites now. Delhi is like very control kind of based civ, right? You don't need to rush because you can get sacred sites, you know, you can do something with that a little bit, right? You get a lot of donzos actually. A lot of donzos, what the fuck? He's gonna lose the water though. Yeah, he's definitely losing the water. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, hmm. Okay, I need to see a replay real quick. Yeah, thank you, Gali, for the uh, for the rematch. Appreciate it. I actually wanted to test this, and because um, you know, finding Baltic on the ladder is not really uh yeah. So I want to see the fishing ship difference. So what I mean by that is, I want to see, pause right here. My fishing ship is out, his fishing ship is out, okay? <laughs> My second fishing ship is out, his is already not. So there's already a difference. Although it's not that massive, I think it's just early drop-offs. We'll see it more a bit later, I think. So we're both chopping. Yeah, you can see. Four fishing ships right now. His fourth just came out. So, we get the same bottleneck, but I, my, um, Delhi starts with 50 extra wood, right? So basically, I get fishing ship made earlier every time and then it also finishes earlier fifth fishing ship his is not in the queue i mean okay it's queued now he just dropped off so i'm basically 50 uh wood ahead which is actually pretty big considering i also produce faster five fishing ships out he's on the way to fifth and this is kind of where i feel like it starts to snowball not to mention i have forestry already and wheelbarrow going. 
I'm gonna see, okay, we age up at the same time, right? Which is, okay, we pause, boom, right here. Okay, so this is where you have to look at the situation. We're both aging up at the same time, but I got eight fishing ships. He has six, seven, right? He has seven. So I have a fishing ship more because I produce fishing ships uh, five seconds faster. I'm getting Dome of Faith. I got Forestry and I have Wheelbarrow started, right? So I'm already ahead, in my opinion, by quite a bit. There's some stuff that's gonna make it like kind of even out a little bit, which I'll talk about in a second. Okay, so he has Pit Mine now completed. So he should be getting two workers advantage as far as income goes so i have an extra fishing ship but he has two workers advantage so it, it kind of evens out but i still have the upgrades and he gets 10 percent drop off on gold true which i feel like kind of cranks up in feudal not really in dark age that much okay so now what are we at i'm producing another scholar i'm getting forestry specialized pick and a wheelbarrow is pretty much halfway done. I'm getting second dock. I have 10 fishing ships. He has 8 fishing ships. And 11th fishing ship is about to come out too. He has forestry going. He has more gold per minute. He gets Benza Quarry. I mean, landmarks I'm not going to mention, right? He gets gold per minute. And now he's making the, the mill. Two docks each, but it's not two docks, it's like 2.3 or 2.4 docks for me, right? So one of the changes they've done to fishing ships for Delhi, they cannot miss any more their shots, but they have one less damage. They used to do seven damage, now they do six. It shows Delhi fishing ships in the thing. I actually didn't know because nobody plays Delhi. On water. Um, I wish it shows for every other sim fishing ships. I mean, maybe not as the army, but I wish it showed somewhere. He's now getting his second pit. I mean, getting. He's slowly making it, right? 10 fishing ships versus 11. He's got double broad axe. Mine is about to complete. I got forestry. Specialized pick is kind of irrelevant because he does have passive gold. Someone here said they still miss? Okay, well, they're not supposed to. I don't know if they still do miss, but they're not supposed to. And I'm getting the fishing upgrade, by the way, as well. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I have so much food here. I don't quite understand that part. I mean, I guess he does, too. Um... Maybe because uninterrupted fishing? I'm not, not sure. So look at the difference now, right? With four scholars... Go on. So, 25 seconds to produce, 30 seconds, 15. 14 seconds, so 11 seconds faster. 17 seconds, 13 seconds faster to produce. And these are... Demo ships are 8 seconds. So I'm basically on three docks right now, right? Which is kind of interesting, right? Ships-wise, I have 4 plus 1. Or soon 5 plus 1. He has 3 plus 1. But he has demos. Another thing I like about Delhi is uh, something to consider, right? When you age up to castle, most civs pretty much stop their ship production so they could get the upgrades but with delhi you can get them immediately how much do how long do they take 30 seconds pretty much 30 this is 35 everything is 30 how much does it take for me one minute and 23 with five scholars but i'm producing more right i went up to seven and i think is that might seem like a cake w but it's free 
you can queue up all the upgrades and not only queue up you can keep producing ships as you're aging up you don't have to save resources for anything right wait 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 they don't count as mosques research rate of buildings within influence wait this one doesn't have the upgrade um increased you guys can't oh you guys can't see this one says 147 this one says 123 but they're both within the influence they are the influence they need to connect they don't need to connect that's not how delhi works you can make a a you a, a, a building here and you can make a mosque and it's counting is connected so they count individual yeah they shouldn't need to only the first one is mosque no they all give influence only the first one gives color i think this is a bug okay good thing that i i found this now because this is like a, a game ending fuck up because you might queue up upgrades on a dock that has zero scholars their influence isn't connected it doesn't matter it should still work it doesn't matter if it counts as a mosque if you have mosque here and you have upgrade buildings here but they're also connected with another mosque the cost the research time will be reduced the research time the research rate of buildings within influence of a mosque madras or dock is increased for each garrison scholar yeah this this is uh i mean i'll ask devs but i'm i'm assuming that this is a bug research speeds are boosted globally for each scholar i mean it says right here that it doesn't matter if you have four here or zero here the research time should be the same i don't know i'll ask devs um another thing is you get blacksmith with delhi which is pretty nice but yeah like i said when you age up you can get the research stuff while still spamming units and then when you age up, you can also boost your regular eco, you know, by just researching for free. I'm gonna have to test this more. Um, I, I like, um, not now, but I'm gonna be testing Delhi and Malian versus like China and HRE and stuff like that, because those are the strongest sieves, and you can get a better point of view how good it actually it actually is. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Malian and uh dalian water and if you're watching on twitch keep going